Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to Angular. In this video, let's going to do the read or the get uh, request method to fetch data from a remote site. The get is the R in the CRUD operation, as you see here. And so here is our scenario. We're going to fetch data from a remote site to the get uh, request. We send data over here to the service. We inject that service to a component. That component will consume that data and display it to the browser. So let's go and take a look. And here is our app. We're going to populate this data here with the read. And the data we receive will look identical to what you see here in this app here. Okay, This is the app we've been working on. Um, but this time we're going to get data from a, a server instead of the uh, local file. So let's go to our code and see that's running. Um, so last time we added already the service. We got the flight service already. It's going to this endpoint here. Okay, so we're going to do the get operations. So we're going to do the get all and get one only. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Well, yeah, the get one, we'll, we'll do it uh, in a different one. But the get all is the one that we will need to do in this video. Okay, so now let's go into the flights and then the flight list. This is what the read is. So in here, we're going to need this and also the uh, template here. So the template is already set up for us. We just need to uh, get the flights information and and the link is already um, set up as well, as you can see. It's going to go to the edit page for this for the different video. And also a delete button here uh, would also be need. We need to do that later as well. But let's go into the code here. So the first thing is we need to inject uh, the service into this component. And you do that by injecting right into the constructor here. We need a DI token. Again, token just really just a parameter that we pass into this constructor of the type of uh, the service. And so have a private. Our is uh, ours is called flight uh, service. Okay, it's going to be flight service. That's the one. And this is how you inject this service into this component. Okay, you have to through the injection through here. Okay, you cannot just like put out here and and use it if you that way it doesn't work. You have to inject into the constructor this way. And this is how we do uh, DI injection. And you're not limited to just one. You can add, inject as many services as you want. You saw earlier in the other one, we injected the HTTP client, right? So you can do that many, many here as well. And and, it, and when we do the edit, you see that we're going to inject two of them. Okay, so we got that in here. So now through this service, uh, flight service um, token or this object, we can connect and load the functions from the other, from, the, from this class, right? So now, um, so we, I'm going to uh, import the flight class as well because now it just say empty here. Um, I want this to say of type flight, okay, like this. So we got the class comes in here already. And then it's going to be a list of flights. So not just one, but it will be of, it's an array, right, of flights. And then we'll initialize this, um, the init here. We're going to call a, um, a, I guess I'll call a function down here. Maybe I'll call it load uh, data. And then this load data will do the, the fetching for us. All right. So now this is what we're going to make that subscription call. Okay. If you, you have to subscribe to it to make sure it really loads. And we do a read. Sometimes you may not do that, but um, it may work. But it's going to be like it's it's a hit or miss thing. So to guarantee it works, you have to call this. You have to subscribe to that service. So here we go. We have um, this flight service right here oops flight service dot and we see all these services that we have right the add and delete and also on we need to get the one that's of get flights the plural one okay if you just do that and remember it returns something so if i if i do this this dot flight equals that i mean that may work all right or may work may not and so this is not the way to do it instead of doing this way we call the function and then we have to subscribe to that using this uh, chaining method here. So you can do right here on the next line like this. Or usually if it gets too long, you can just break that dot and put into the next line. You tab it over like this. Okay, so we know it's part of this uh, function here. So this subscribe takes a, a three parameters. The first one is a function, usually a function called next. And what that does is actually that function, um, inside the function, you, you 
it, it will return the actual data that you, you subscribe to. In this case, we're interested in the flight information that's coming through uh, this function here, okay? So here you would do a, um, so the first is the actual data, and then the second is, as you can see, the, the error. If there's any error, you call that. And then the last one is to complete. When, when it's all done, you can call it complete and to perform some other operations like, you know, confirmation uh, or whatever, right? So uh, otherwise, you don't really need it if you don't want to handle those. So for us, um, you could do the error, but I think I'm just going to do the very simple one. We'll just get the data, all right? And um, so here you can use the function uh, or it's going to be very simple. So just use the error function. And I'll say, oh, actually, I need to also um, do the count here, right? Update the count. So let's do uh, do like this in multiple lines. Say data is equal to the error function, the lambda function. So inside here, we can do two things. One is we set the flights to this data, whatever this data is. You can call it whatever you want, ABC, doesn't matter, okay? Just a variable name. Um, but it's commonly called data because usually that's the data. Or call it object, doesn't matter. So say this flights is going to be assigned uh, with this data coming in. All right. So that's the flight. We expect that to come through. And then also now we want to do the count. So this count is assigned with uh, the, you can do data that length. Or to be more correct, you can say this flights that length. Just make sure it really is a part of the um, the data already. So so that's what we do. That's all we do here. And then that's it. So make sure you subscribe to that service. And because we're doing this way, because it's being, being called asynchronously, as soon as you load this component, you know, way even before instantiation here, all these code are here will run. So that means this flight will be already run and this blank data will already be passed to the uh, template here. And so if you don't, you know, set up to be a dev this data type, then over here, this will fail because, you know, it needs these already, uh, right before we, we even run. And then later on, like a couple of ticks later, ticks later, right? When the data actually came through, then it will re-render again, pass the data again to replace this actual data. Okay, so that's why we need that here. If you just do like, you know, like that, you can see that um, uh, if I do this, it, it won't work because you don't have any of those objects to fill these properties, airline, flight number, and so on. So it's really important to make sure we have that data type like this. So that because our class is already have all these uh, properties. So let's say that is, let's hope this works. And then we initialize this, we're gonna load that data. Okay, you call that and it updates the data, the flights becomes active, and then it goes over here and populate this with a loop and shows the information here for us. And let's hope that this works. So let's go and save this. And now I need to go over to the other app and run our Django application. So let's go and turn on Django here. I'm gonna go into yeah, the VNV and I'm gonna go to the Flight scheduler, and we'll do a uh, Python manage run server. Okay, so I think I set up to run port 8000, as you can see here, right? So if I go ahead and click that, and uh, you see that it's over here. So I need to go to the slash um, flights. Okay, so these are the actual data that's come through. And we have only 10 in the in the uh, data here. So if I press F12 and go to network, press all here and do it again. And inside this object um, flights, you see this is the JSON data comes through, right? So I have 10 uh, L, L, uh, schedules here, all this information that can be fetched through that. And then later on, when we want to grab only one item, you just pass an ID of three, you get that single flight, okay? So make sure this is running. If it doesn't run, it doesn't work, okay? so. Uh, I'll just close this. Now we can leave this running, but let's uh, hide that. Okay, so now let's go and check our app to make sure it's loading some data. So over here, 
and it may not work but we'll see go over here go to flights and show and there it is so it's populated with the data this is live data from the, uh, the server okay and so we have 10 of those uh, data set and we are good to go so in the uh, next video we'll be doing the um, other operations like the delete and edit and we'll add a new flight as well